and welcome. I am Atika Faruqi. So, a media consulting firm called Ormax got together with another entertainment platform called Film Companion. They went through the entire or mostly all of the digital and the theatrical content that had released in 2021 uh, across eight languages. And their purpose was to, was to ascertain and acknowledge and to understand the representation and participation of women, both on screen and off screen. And what they found was quite abysmal. I will share the um, statistics with you. But uh, for now, we have two very special women with me. One is, of course, uh, Vidya Balan. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and head of India Originals at Amazon Prime Video, Aparna Purrohit. Hi, Hello. Aparna. <laughs> and we talk about this very serious topic with them. I will share some um, important statistics. You know, what they found was out of 750 HOD positions, that is head of department positions, analyzed across 150 properties, both series and films, only 10% were occupied by women. Women tend to hire more women, 17% women HODs appointed when the commissioning in charge was female as compared to 8% only when commissioning in charge was male. Not even one theatrical film out of 56 was directed or edited by a woman. Secondly, now we come to marketing. This was content. Marketing says, a consolidated analysis shows that women have only 25% talk time in the trailers of the 150 films and shows had allotted female talk time and men out talk women 3 to 1 in trailers. If there is a trailer that is 100 seconds, then 60 to 70 seconds men say and then 30 to 50 seconds women say. 48 properties had trailers that allotted less than 10 seconds for the women to speak. Vidya, what do you have to say? Because I think, you know, we're not talking so much about the women on screen. Mm. There are enough women on screen. Mm. Do they have agency? Uh, most often not. Mm. But behind the scenes, I think uh, there are not enough women. Mm. Though I, I, I found the statistics shocking because uh, in my opinion, I kept you know, in my opinion, I felt like um, when I started out, there were barely two or three women on a set. On a set. There have been films on which there were no women at all. And now you see a lot of girls yeah, on yeah, set. Yeah. So I thought, Ki, Are, the situation has improved dramatically. Yeah, yeah. But then when you see the statistics, you realize they all add up to only 10%, which is abysmal. Yes. Which is, you know, which is very poor. But having said that, we still have come. Hmm. Some distance. Quite far. We we are doing much better than we were. I think the uh, the purpose was that um, you know I feel like we were living in this bubble. Mm. You know we felt that we've come a long way. That we're doing really good. Every time we talked about women representation on screen, you know we we'd look at Vidya's films mm, and, mm. Uh, you know, three of them uh, recently launched on our service. Yeah. And we thought we're doing fine. Which are Jalsa, Tumhari Sulu. No, Jalsa, Jalsa Shedni, Shedni, and Shakuntala Devi. And Shakuntala Devi. Devi. Yeah. Mm, on Prime Video, yes. right. Yes, and so we thought we're doing good. Mm. Uh, you know, look at our shows, uh, you know, so many, and they have very complex and, um, you know, uh, led, uh, strong women. Mm. We're doing, we're doing okay. Mm. But when we see a report like yeah. this, you're right, it's stuck. Mm. So we have be living in a bubble because mm. none of us had any data. Yeah. Uh, but now with this data, we know that we have a very, very uh, long journey long ahead. Journey too, yeah. uh, and there may be women, but are they in decision making, uh, authority, uh, uh, roles of authority? Mm. Perhaps not. Yeah. You know, and we need to have more women in positions of influence. Mm. Uh, that is really critical. Uh, only then will there be right representation, there'll be authentic representation, mm. and there'll be uh, diverse representation, I feel. Do you think in your creative department, people who take calls related to what stories should be there, who, what, who should be the characters in those stories? You have more women in, those, in your creative team? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have more women in my team. Nice. Um, and I have very feminist men in my team. So I have a very diverse team. How wonderful. I'll take the conversation forward with three quotes. One of them says, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Now when she says, give a girl the right shoes, what are those right shoes with the help of which a woman can conquer the world? You have conquered the world. Aadha to behan tum lehi gai ho. How did you do it? What are those shoes that are needed for I them? think it is really a metaphor for 
you know, um, giving her um, the courage and the comfort to walk her path. Hmm. And then you, she'll be able to com conquer the world. Hmm. You know, whatever, I, I think that's, that's what it really means. Hmm. And if all of us have that, um, if all of us are given a slight nudge, hmm. some encouragement hmm. from the significant others in our lives, hmm. I think it will make a huge difference. For example, in our house, there were some decisions that my mother took. Mm. So in that sense, I think uh, they were traditionally distributed, mm. but there were some decisions my father took. Mm. But they were both equally powerful mm. in the house. It mm. was not like because my father stepped out to work mm. and earn the money mm. that he had more of a say. Mm. When it was convenient, my mother would say, ask your father. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when she didn't want to say no directly, <laughs> then she would say, ask Papa, your father. Nah, Papa yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, I really believe that uh, the fire in the belly that I have mm. is as much from my father, uh, is as much from my mother, mother as it is from my father. What she couldn't do in her life, yeah. she wanted to have a career. Yeah. Okay. You've talked about family. Now, I talk about the workplace with you, Abhata. Yeah. You, you, you work in one of the biggest MNCs right now. Uh, what are the shoes that women need to have for them in order for them to excel at the workplace? Uh, Amazon has very, uh, uh, very good mechanisms actually. Hmm. You know, so uh, for women who need to go on a maternity leave, for men there is paternity leave. Okay. There is a program called Rekindle for you know women who want to come back and join the workforce again after maternity leave, hmm. work from home, flexi hours. All of that is there and now, you know, the last two years have taught us that you can be anywhere and continue Actually, your work. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So all of that is there. In addition to that, I feel very supportive, uh, you know, uh, colleagues mm. uh, who will not talk over you, mm. who will allow you the space to talk, mm -hmm. uh, who will not constantly make you second guess your own decision, yes. who will let you make your own mistakes. I remember one of the first things when I just joined Amazon, and, uh, you know, I was making some very important decisions about the initial shows. Mm. And I'd come from an indie space, mm. you know, where if you saved like a couple of lakhs, you were given a pat on the back and, you know, you were really lauded for your efforts. And suddenly, you know, here one was taking really big decisions. And I remember getting very nervous. Mm. And I remember like I felt there was a Himalaya sitting on my chest mm. and, you know, I couldn't breathe. And, and I remember walking up to my boss and I told him that, you know, every other department is uh, supporting my decision and is making their plans based on the decisions that I am making. Mm -hmm. What if I fail? Mm -hmm. What if these shows don't work? What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. And he says, when you run, you may fall, but you need to pick yourself up and start running again. Just ensure you don't fall at the same place again. Mm -hmm. Wow. It was so liberating. So, nice. yeah. so, you know, the opportunity and the elbow room to fail. Yeah. Because otherwise, how will you think disruptive? Exactly. How will you think big? Exactly. That is what my workplace allows me to do. Now, I'll go to another quote by Marilyn Monroe. And she says that uh, if I had observed all the rules, I would have never got anywhere. Or I'm kehte na ki well-behaved women rarely make history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. For you, Vidya, what are the things, the popular rules that you have broken, in your own words? You know, um, I, I think I, we grew up in a household without rules. Mm -hmm. We were given every freedom to just be who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, while we were, I grew up in a traditional Palakar Ayer mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. Um, Say that again. In a traditional Palakar Ayer family. Palakar Ayer. Yeah. <laughs> but not hmm. conservative. Hmm. So even when I grew up and I, I, I thought, oh, you know, film is sirf hero ke wajay se chalti hai. Mujhe ye sab, matlab, I was like, why? Hmm. Why does it have to be like that? Hmm. You know, but I didn't set out to break it. But because I didn't believe it, hmm. I think I managed to break it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I, I didn't buy into that. You didn't buy into that. So Otherwise, you know, we're all conditioned into things. Yeah, you know, so rules, are, you have to be a certain body type to be yeah. a lead actor or to be a hero. Mm. Why? I look all around me and heroes come in all shapes and sizes. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've had a history of some, um, you know, hormonal issues which 
uh, you know, made it very difficult to, for me to be that small size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I fought it for a long time. We've yeah, spoken yeah, about yeah. it in the past. Yeah. And then I said, but you know, why am I killing myself? Before every film, every director would come and tell me, can you lose some weight? Can you lose some weight? And then I'd go kill myself to lose the weight. And after a point, it stopped working. Yeah. You know, n nothing I did ever made me lose yeah. the weight. Yeah. So at a certain point in time, I said, but heroes, do, they can look. Yeah. You know, they can be of any skin color, any hair length, yeah. any yeah, exactly. body shape, size, height, whatever. So I said, okay, I'm, I started telling people, if you want someone of a different uh, body size, yeah. then please go to another actor. Mm. So, you know, slowly you realize that, that that's a rule that I do not follow. Mm. The, the thing is that we also, as women, get liberated from that perception that we are only good, beautiful, young girls are heroines. Ho sakti yeah. So I want to know the producer's perspective on that. Look, for us, you know, it's the story. Yeah. I mean, we recently launched a show, a Tamil show called Sural. Mm. And uh, Shreya Reddy, who's mm. playing uh, the character of Regina, mm. uh, the cop in it, mm. has made a comeback after 16 years wow. in it. Uh, you know, we could have cast anyone, but mm. she was perfect for it. We went to her and mm. said, you have to come yeah. and do this. I mean, Pushkar Gayatri convinced her. Yeah. But... Uh, but I don't want any of my characters to ever get boxed like mm. thin and slim and yes. no, what's yes. written on paper, we need to be authentic to that. And lastly, Madeline Mondo says, uh, some things fall apart so that better things can fall together. When you came out with this report, it is heartbreaking of course. I don't figures I mean, I feel that uh, it's a very important step that we've taken with this report mm. because now, We've made what is invisible, visible. We can now have well, conversations mm -hmm. backed with data. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to be like, uh, you know, confrontational anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's yeah. data. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not making it up. Mm -hmm. It's right there. Mm -hmm. And therefore, there needs to be a mindful uh, and an intention mm -hmm. uh, to change it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there have to be mechanisms to change it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, for instance, and you know about it, Atika, that, uh, you know, and I'm not very popular amongst, uh, uh, you know, our community uh, for that. But I've mandated that there have to be women in the writer's room. Yeah. That 50% yeah. of our HODs have to be women. Mm. Otherwise, your show is not getting greenlit, you know. Uh, and they keep telling us we can go elsewhere. And I tell them, then, you know, I'm really sorry. Wow. You may have to. But this is wow. how it is. We'll have to do it. It has to be intentional, really. And persistent. What is it that women do differently, Vidya, that they should be in the workforce? You know, I guess it's... Um, Have you with, been directed by a woman? Yeah, yeah, of course. Which twice. One? Anu Menon on Shakuntala. On Shakuntala. And now Nia. Yeah. And Shisha Guha Thakur's done a film called Lovers, mm. which will release uh, later mm. this year. Mm. But I think what we need to do differently is... Um, you know, just keep at it, despite um, the fights we have internally, mm -hmm. despite the fights we have to take up with the world. Mm -hmm. I think we have to just keep at it yeah. and live for ourselves, live for our dreams. You know, mm -hmm. I know it's easier said than done, mm -hmm. but it has to be done because if we don't, then who will? Mm -hmm. I think there is hope. It's, yeah. it, we've come a very long very way. Long very long way that's, from where we were. That's true. So, a that you a that you a that you a that So, thank you for this report. Thank you for all coming together for this project called O Woman. Yeah.